All right, I'm just going to go ahead and record this now while the thoughts are still fresh in my mind. So today was the final day, the final broadcast of the legendary 89X, the new rock alternative of Detroit, Michigan, uh, a radio station that's been a staple around here for 30 years. Um, I still remember the day it started. Um, actually, I, like I can remember it like it was yesterday. I was uh, 16 years old in 1991, so I'm an older guy. Uh, 1991, going to high school, 11th grade. Uh, I was a skateboarder, kind of a goofball. Didn't really care for the popular music of the time, which was hair metal or R&B and dance. Uh, I was more into punk rock and alternative rock you know, things of that nature, stuff off the beaten path. But there was no stations at that time that would play any kind of music that we wanted to listen to. You had to, you know, go up on your roof and try to get the local college station if you could. So there was a huge need for young people to have an outlet to listen to new music. And 89X came along in 1991 and filled that. And I remember going to school uh, riding with my friend Bill to high school in 11th grade on the way there uh, We knew the channel was going to switch its format in the morning to the new Alternative rock and they did and it was uh, the first song they played was Jane's Addiction And I just remember me and Bill freaking out going all right finally We got something we can listen to and we did for the next however many years. I mean 89x literally was the station to listen to for for a disenfranchised group of people you know that were just kind of misfits and they found a home at 89x and we promoted the hell out of that station you couldn't go around in the early 90s and see kids driving their cars you know their little beat up hondas and whatever without that 89x bumper sticker on the back without, you know, a nine inch nail sticker on the back or fish or whatever. I mean, there was, you would have all your band stickers and then 89X would be proudly displayed, letting everyone know that you liked real music and that 89X was the place to go to hear it. And uh, throughout the years, man, I got into work and 89X was always the first station I would program on my uh, car dial or whatever. It was always number one, 89X. Now, admittedly, within the last, you know, 10, 15, even 20 years, I haven't really been listening. Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I wasn't into the whole, you know, 30 seconds from Mars and Lincoln Park and all that. When that all came in, I was kind of like, eh, I was on some other, you know, taste change. But I listened today. Uh, they, my friends, they clued me in. They let me know that 89X was dying today at noon, and I wanted to be there to hear it. And lo and behold, they ended the broadcast with Jane's Addiction, Stop, the same song that they started it with 30 years ago when I was 16 years old. And I gotta tell you, it's a bittersweet feeling to hear it start and hear it end in one lifetime. And I'm an older person. It just seems so strange. It's almost like saying goodbye to your youth would be the best way I could put it. All the memories I had of all the 89X sponsored events, the 89X birthday bash at the Phoenix Center featuring Beck, back when he was starting out. Club X at the State Theater in Detroit. Uh, 89X sponsored events all over the Metro Detroit area. 89X played a huge role in many of people's lives and it will be sorely missed. It's the end of an era it's the end of one 89X, the new rock alternative. Um, I'd almost, I'd venture a guess to say it's an end of, uh, it's almost, I don't know, man. I, I can't even put it in the words. So I'm just going to end it here. I'm just having a real reminiscent day, having memories, saying goodbye to a great station. Uh, and good luck to all the people who ever worked there, all the people who were listeners like me um, throughout the years. We're getting long in the tooth, but we're still young at heart, and we still want to hear great music, but now we have, you know, the devil internet to give it to us, so things are easier now. But uh, 
Anyways, rest in peace, 89X. It was a hell of a run.